Hi guys, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching me, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, the Deputy President William Samoy Ruto was at Senator Susan Kika's home in Nakuru County. And after that, he proceeded for a several road stopover to check on Wanainchi. So today, again, Ruto has made his way to Kisi County to meet with the Gusi community. So as usual, he has had his several stopover in Kisi County. And shortly, a video has emerged whereby residents are chatting ODM and seemingly it's like they are rejecting William Samway Ruto. The person who took that video had an intention he wanted to achieve and therefore want to use this opportunity to check really if that goal was achieved or not but before we go deep into that a quick reminder you might be watching me and you have not yet subscribed my humble request please consider to subscribe so that any other time once i come out with a video like this one you will always get notified again to all the channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment i must say thank you so much for your unconditional support let us keep on sharing this video so that we can attract larger audience back to our discussion now politics to some extent is a dirty game where politicians have mastered the art of using small truths to sell propaganda and have their way on ballot so number one in this video those guys shouting could have just decided to demonstrate their anger just because Ruto did not stop to greet them and buy their product as usual as he normally do because definitely he is a Mr. Handout. So that's what people expect from William Samway Ruto. And number two, the clip seemingly looked like someone organized a youth in town in readiness for rejection of the Deputy President William Samway Ruto so that it will get outside there like a bushfire that the Goose community definitely have no space for William Samway Ruto. Because even you can hear in the clip, these guys are shouting ODM. <laughs> so that could be an organized crowd with an intention to achieve a specific goal. And though if organized, these guys were not well, they were not brave enough because you can hear from the background, someone goes ahead to say that Ruto Akonamadharao, uh, that he cannot stop to greet them, he just ran away. So, you know, when Ruto passes people and spread for handout, I don't know if he's going to sustain that. Now, again, this game of heckling was heavily invested in by the Tanga Tanga guys, those guys who are following William Samay Ruto. Second, to some extent, when Raila Molo Dinga make his way to Central Region, you'll find people like uh, Mwaura and Rigathe Gashagwe will organize youth in groups. Such that when Raila get to a rally, they go there to heckle him, and in the return, it will be seen as if Central people have definitely rejected William, sorry, Raila Molo Dinga, and to that extent, showing a continuation of a Raila Odinga phobia in the central region. So these guys were alone in this game, and they have done it several. If you remember, when Raila got to Gedurai some time back, and the other time when he was somewhere in a church with the SK Macharia, to some extent, those guys tried to heckle, but now ODM might just be responding to the Tanga Tanga guys by again now mastering the same the same the same the same side of kind of politics to have the people also go on the street and uh, do that exactly thing that the William Samay Ruto team has been doing for the longest time. So that one could just be again a rebuttal from ODM side. Because for the longest time, I think ODM has been watching them very careful. They have been playing this game, but ODM was not retaliating. And now they have realized that it is high time. kwa So, what should it be? Fire by fire. <laughs> so, wameamua, that is the direction they might be taking going forward.
So generally, this is political war of massive crowd. We understand that crowd cannot turn into votes, but it simply creates perception that so and so is electable. And that is what these politicians are fighting for, and that is what is bringing here a showdown from each and every side. People want to be seen as if they are acceptable and electable across the entire country. And other people are ready to show out that so and so is not acceptable or electable in this zone and that zone. This one will keep on going on and as we go forward, I'm sure it is going to be more than this we are seeing now. But now, by the way, a question is here. <laughs> Ruto is a Kalenjin coming from Rift Valley. Raila Odinga is a Luo coming from Luo Nyanza. Why is it that when Raila gets to Rift Valley, there is no stage manage rejection? And also, why is it that when Ruto gets to Luo Nyanza, there is no stage manage rejection? These guys are definitely well received. They will have their rally and eh, they will get there safely back home. I want you to help me by answering this question in the comment section let us understand the reason behind this so the question again is did the person who stage managed Ruto's rejection in Gooseland achieve his goal to some extent in my own view yes and no yes because definitely as this clip go out we have people who are watching that video and in their mind they are learning that William Samay Ruto to some extent has been rejected in Gooseland. And therefore, we have people who would want to realign themselves with William Samay Ruto. And having such a feeling and seeing such clip, definitely such people could go ahead and shy from realigning themselves with William Samay Ruto, Hansla or Tangatanga thing in Gusi region. So yes, to some extent, that has been achieved. And that's why you see, most of ODM supporters are spreading this video like bushfire on social media. And as usual, perception is developing that people have rejected William Samuel Ruto in his rally in Gusi region. So perception is being created from the opponent side. And it's people, some people can buy into that. And I can say also no, because Ruto definitely had his huge rally where he has addressed the resident within Gusi community in Kisi County. Those people who have watched the clip, Ruto has made a huge rally. We have people who have attended that rally. They have listened to William Samuel Ruto and no hair calling has been, in, has been had in that rally. So Ruto has managed to address the people. Again, we have people who will buy into that, that Ruto definitely is acceptable, welcomed and uh, he can be voted easily among the Gusi community. So the perception is being created through those rallies. But I remember I told you, rally cannot, the huge crowd in rallies cannot turn into votes. Because people can come to listen to you, but at the end of the day, they know very well in their mind, and the Kenyans have become so much brave. When they get to the ballot, they understand who they need to vote for. You can go there, you give them your money, but at the end of the day, on the ballot, you know, many Kenyans have been made to know that those politicians who give money in rally, definitely, the money they are giving is from corruption. And they are being told that, look here, the money you are being given is your money these people have stolen, which was supposed to do some development and project here and there. So when they bring that money, take it, eat it, but vote with your brain. So Kenyans have made to know this, and for that reason, they will come in your rallies in huge numbers, especially when they know that you are going to give out handouts. <laughs> Kitu siju in Kwamba, when Ruto will stop giving handout in his rally, I don't know if he will manage to have these people coming in huge numbers to listen to him. Because definitely, seemingly, it is also coming out clear like Ruto is having zile rallies <laughs> akunonoliwa. So, both crowds, I don't know if he's going to sustain that. And I'm certain that the day Ruto will stop giving handout in his rallies, that is the time most of these people will start rejecting him. Because it's a perception that he has developed. 
that when they get to rally, definitely they should anticipate to get some cash. Now, I don't know your view, but you can get in the comment section. Go there, let us have an interruption. Let us give our views there, and I think that is going to broaden further this, this discussion. So, get there, let meet there. Let us interrupt with one another. You can also respond to other people's comment. I have seen some guys are doing so, and that is making that this conversation to look more sweeter. So, let us get in the comment section. Give me your views. Let us interrupt there. Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. And I think, by the way, Raila was in Bungoma County, accompanied by Kakamega governor, who also happened to be the deputy party leader of ODM. So, these guys were hosted by Bungoma governor, weekly Fuangamati, for a funeral which they attended. I think if we get time, we are going to analyze that, because seemingly Wangamati might be moving towards ODM party. The question is, is he going to defend his seat on ODM ticket in 2022? Or he will have to, he will manage to defend it independently or back to Food Kenya party. I think we'll discuss about that one in our next video. Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.